Hello everyone, welcome to the mathematics in my channel. Uh, today I came up with another interesting integral. Integral from 0 to 1, natural log of x times natural log of minus natural log of x over 1 minus x dx. Well, uh, how to begin? Here, uh, integral from 0 to 1, um, natural log of x times natural log of minus natural log of x then uh, here we have 1 minus x so 1 over 1 minus x we can represent as an infinite series uh, k is equal 0 to infinity x to the k dx well uh, then uh, we can uh, change the integral sign and uh, sigma notation so we have uh, k is equal 0 to infinity integral from 0 to 1 here x to the k so we have x to the k times natural log of x times natural log of minus natural log of x dx then uh, i am going to take a u substitution here we have minus natural log of x so minus natural log of x is equal to t uh, then we can isolate the x x we know x is equal to e to the minus t uh, so we can differentiate dx is equal to minus e to the minus t d t now we can uh, plug in so uh, here uh, sum of k is equal 0 to infinity uh, now limit we should change the limit uh, lower limit and upper limit when x approaches 0 we know lower limit infinity when x approaches to 1 upper limit uh, 0 and x is equal to uh, e to the minus t uh, but here k so e to the minus k times t times uh, natural log of x we know natural log of x uh, minus t so here minus t uh, times natural log of minus natural log of x we know t and dx <coughs> uh, minus e to the minus t dt okay uh, let us simplify a little bit uh, so here uh, k is equal 0 to infinity now we can interchange uh, lower limit and upper limit when we change limit uh, like 0 to infinity we know this minus sign get cancelled and here also we have minus sign so we can take minus sign in front of uh, sigma notation so now here t so t times e to the minus k times t here e to the minus t so minus t is a common factor then parenthesis k plus 1 uh, times natural log of t d t okay then uh, again i am going to take a substitution so here we can write uh, t times uh, k plus 1 uh, therefore t times k plus 1 is equal to u then uh, differentiation so k plus 1 times dt is equal to du uh, limit we know also 0 to infinity so here we have uh, minus sum of k is equal 0 to infinity uh, integral from 0 to infinity now t uh, t we know if you isolate the t u over k plus 1 so u over k plus 1 uh, here e to the uh, t times k plus 1 we know u so e to the minus u uh, natural log of uh, t we know again u over k plus 1 uh, times dt we know du over k plus 1 well uh, we can simplify now here k plus 1 here k plus 1 so k plus 1 square we can take outside of the integral sign because it's a constant so k is equal 0 to infinity infinity uh, here integral from uh, 0 to infinity are uh, here k plus 1 square so 1 over uh, k plus 1 square uh, integral from uh, 0 to infinity uh, here u u times uh, e to the minus u times here natural log of u over k plus 1 according to property of natural log uh, we can write natural log of u minus natural log of k plus 1 d u well uh, then we can split our integral into two different integrals 
so here minus sum 0 to infinity 1 over k plus 1 square uh, integral from 0 to infinity uh, u times e to the minus u times natural log of u du then minus integral from 0 to infinity u times e to the minus u times natural log of k plus 1 du okay then uh, i am going to uh, recall the uh, the definition of gamma function we know uh, gamma of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x to the c minus 1 dx then uh, if we plug in uh, here 2 if we plug in 2 we know uh, gamma of 2 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x to the 2 minus 1 uh, 1 dx so here we know natural log of k plus 1 constant so we can write we can take natural log of k plus 1 uh, outside of the integral sign and here only we have u times e to the minus u du so same as so we know this integral is equal to gamma of 2 but here we have u times e to the minus u times natural log of u therefore i'm going to differentiate the gamma function uh, with respect to c so here gamma dash of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x to the c minus 1 times natural log of x dx okay now uh, this integral uh, we know uh, this type of integral uh, but here we have uh, u times e to the minus u here u uh, instead of u we know x so um, here c minus 1 so if we plug in uh, here also 2 we know gamma dash of 2 is equal to 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x times uh, natural log of x dx so we can write uh, here this is equal to minus uh, sum of k is equal 0 to infinity 1 over k plus 1 square times uh, this integral we know is equal to gamma dash of 2 uh, minus here we have gamma of 2 ah uh, here uh, natural log of k plus 1 so um, we know here uh, natural log of k plus 1 well uh, now here we have gamma dash of 2 so in a gamma function uh, sorry di gamma function video uh, we proved di gamma of x is equal to gamma dash of x over gamma of x so we know gamma dash of x is equal to gamma of x times di gamma of x so here we can write now minus uh, k is equal 0 to infinity 1 over k plus 1 square uh, here gamma of 2 times di gamma of 2 minus natural log of k plus 1 times gamma of 2 we know gamma of 2 is equal to 1 uh, so minus k is equal 0 to infinity 1 over k plus 1 square here di gamma of 2 we know 1 minus gamma we also proved the sign between diagramma function video if you uh, like to watch that video i will add the link in the description so here uh, gamma of 2 again 1 so natural log of k plus 1 okay uh, then uh, we can simplify here minus k is equal 0 to infinity 1 over k plus 1 square then uh, minus here also minus so plus uh, gamma times uh, sum of k is equal 0 to infinity 1 over k plus 1 square uh, then minus minus plus uh, sum of k is equal 0 to infinity natural log of k plus 1 over k plus 1 square okay then uh, we can shift the index uh, like minus uh, here 0 uh, here i am going to begin with 1 so 1 to infinity 1 over 
k square uh, plus gamma times uh, sum of k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over k square uh, plus uh, sum of k is equal 1 to infinity natural log of k over uh, k square okay then uh, we know if we apply first term k is equal 1 natural log of 1 we know 0 so uh, this series we can also write uh, sum of k is equal 2 to infinity natural log of k over k square well uh, then uh, we know uh, this is the definition of uh, zeta function zeta of 2 so uh, we can write here this is equal to zeta of 2 plus gamma times here also zeta of 2 then uh, here uh, this series uh, this is also familiar with us because in the previous uh, videos we discussed about the derivative of zeta function so we know uh, d uh, zeta over dc is equal to minus sum of n is equal to 2 to infinity natural log of n over n to the c so this is equal to uh, minus uh, theta dash of 2 theta dash of 2 then uh, minus theta of 2 we know phi square over 6 plus gamma times phi square over 6 then minus theta dash of 2 we know uh, phi square over 6 times 12 times natural log of a a we know let's take inclined constant uh, here minus gamma minus natural log of 2 times pi now we can take uh, phi square over 6 as a common factor so here minus 1 uh, plus gamma uh, plus 12 times natural log of a minus gamma uh, minus natural log of 2 times pi we know minus gamma plus gamma or as a muscarone constant get cancelled so we have phi square over 6 uh, times 12 times natural log of a uh, minus natural log of 2 times pi minus 1 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos uh, please subscribe this channel thank you for watching